These are some of the recommendations from the American Urologic Association on testosterone replacement. Clinicians should use a total testosterone level below 300 nanograms per deciliter as a reasonable cutoff in support of the diagnosis of low testosterone. The diagnosis of low testosterone should be made only after two total testosterone measurements are taken on separate occasions with both conducted in an early morning fashion. The clinical diagnosis of testosterone deficiency is only made when patients have low total testosterone levels combined with symptoms and or signs. Does testosterone replacement cause heart disease? No. Actually, low testosterone is associated with an increase in cardiovascular disease. Current available literature has consistently shown that low testosterone levels are associated with an increased incidence of major adverse cardiac events such as heart attack, stroke, and possible cardiovascular-related mortality. Testosterone-deficient patients should be informed that low testosterone levels place them at risk for these major cardiovascular events, and clinicians should assess all testosterone-deficient patients for risk factors. What about testosterone and prostate cancer? Well, testosterone replacement does not cause prostate cancer or make it worse. Research has failed to definitively link testosterone therapy to a progression of prostate cancer in the untreated patient or recurrence in the treated patient. While the FDA retains a warning regarding the potential risk of prostate cancer in patients who are prescribed testosterone products, there is accumulating evidence against a link between testosterone therapy and prostate cancer development. So what about testosterone in post-radical prostatectomy patients? Testosterone therapy can be considered in those men who have undergone radical prostatectomy with favorable pathology, like negative margins, negative seminal vesicles, negative lymph nodes, and who have undetectable PSA postoperatively. Currently published studies have not demonstrated an increased risk of biochemical cancer occurrence in post-radical prostatectomy patients who are on testosterone therapy, nor does it define the optimal timing for commencement of testosterone therapy. The literature suggests that post-radical prostatectomy patients who had undetectable PSA levels and were subsequently put on testosterone therapy maintained undetectable PSA levels throughout treatment with no evidence of cancer recurrence. So what about radiation patients? Testosterone after radiation therapy. There's also a scarcity of data evaluating the safety of testosterone therapy in men treated with radiation therapy. Available studies are retrospective in nature but have suggested that after radiation therapy, patients placed on testosterone therapy do not experience recurrence of prostate cancer. Clinicians should be aware that a period of time should elapse after radiation and before initiating testosterone therapy in order to allow the patient adequate time to regain functional endogenous production of testosterone. While this period of waiting might preclude the need for testosterone therapy by allowing testosterone to return to normal levels organically, it is possible that men who underwent long courses of androgen deprivation may not regain physiologic testosterone levels even one year after cessation of androgen deprivation. The studies conducted in post-radiation therapy men who have been placed on testosterone therapy indicate that men experienced either a steady decline in PSA values or had non-significant changes in PSA with no patients exhibiting signs of prostate cancer progression or recurrence. Testosterone therapy does not cause blood clots. Patients should be informed that there is no definitive evidence linking testosterone therapy to a higher incidence of venothrombolic events. Testosterone replacement, however, does negatively affect fertility. Exogenous testosterone therapy 
should not be prescribed to men who are currently trying to conceive. Clinicians may use aromatase inhibitors, HCG, selective estrogen receptor modulators, or a combination thereof in men with testosterone deficiency desiring to maintain fertility.